Hi guys, it's Penny Rose Journals. How are we all this morning? Um, it's a sunny Sunday here. And I have a big enormous journal for you. Her name is Nora. She is one of my After the Apocalypse journals. Um, I call them that because they're just made of scrappy stuff. And it just looks like something that somebody may have just found. <coughs> And it's all eclectic stuff that there's no reason for it to be together unless it was just found by somebody. Alright, she is 23 centimetres or 9 inches across and just over 30 centimetres or 12 inches tall. Um, she has an exposed spine. see all of her signatures through her spine um, she has this fabric scrap binding her two colors her front and back cover together she's covered in old map that's been distressed and stamped on and yeah ripped and torn and altered and <laughs> all the rest of it so yeah she's a uh, She's a chunky girl, she's big, she has only four signatures, but they're pretty large signatures. She has all these found items, just make sure you can see them, yes, all the found items, uh, fabric beads, um, bits of broken jewellery, little lock, and several rusted keys, and again some more fabric bead. Right. There's all those dangling from her spine. This is the sort of things you might find lying around in the dirt if something dreadful had happened to your world. Oh, she just has a couple of clips on the front holding a few photographs and book page pieces. Um, there's some rusted pieces here. Where are we? Rusted pieces along the side here, those um, clips, binding clips. There is a couple of um, bulldog clips at the top and bottom. That's actually holding in a removable belly band on the inside. <coughs> right, now we in frame. There we are. That's good. She was a lot of fun to make. <laughs> I like doing this sort of thing. Right, in the front we have this grungy inside front cover. Um, it is just a piece of card that has been um, collaged over with book page and then some um, napkin, paper napkin, has been sewn around. That's stuck there to give the, uh, give the spine a little more integrity. Um, like I say, this is removable. You can just unclip these pieces and take this off if you don't enjoy that look. There's a bit of a found poetry um, and just some pictures that have been backed for journaling purposes. Nora is the kind of journal that I really enjoy making. She's uh, there's no rhyme or reason to her, she just is. <laughs> Here is an altered envelope made into a book page. There's a pocket in the front with just a couple of journal cards tucked in there. Inside here we have just some printed ephemera. twine it's silky and shiny and it's just lovely um, it's banana twine I, yeah from Nepal who knew uh, these are all reclaimed envelopes they have been batch dyed um, I don't know Australians and I don't know some other countries as well may recognize the name um, telecom 
well this was Australia Telecom um, I managed to pick up a huge box of these old envelopes um, they now the call themselves Telstra of course so they rebranded everything and tossed all this sort of stuff out I was just lucky enough here is a piece of batch dyed scrap paper um, this was a scrap that I picked up in a grab bag at a thrift store it was just this beautiful marbled paper um, but there was a big corner missing out of it so I have stuck a piece of old magazine page over that and yeah just included it as a page in here because it's just so beautiful this little page tab here with a little dangle with odd, odd beads on it in green off of a paper clip this is some of that um, page from the flower decorating book that I have or flower arranging book that I have it was such big pages it was great for this size book and on the side of that there is a flip out of just a um, jelly print here and a monstrous amount of writing space <laughs> for you <laughs> it's an old map piece for an old atlas it's old book pages um, well actually it's not a book page, this is a printed page, it's a, um, I think a knitting or a crocheting pattern or something. It just had some um, paper popped over the top and there you go, knitting. You can see through it but it's good enough to journal on. Some very coffee dyed paper. Here is a book page that just has been folded around and there's a little altered paper clip there, it's a little notebook and tucked into the side of this page there is a piece of my paper cut art that was just sitting about and now it's off to a new home so it's just jelly print on a book page some old map wrapping paper it's been batch dyed as well you can see all the beautiful colors and yeah it's just gorgeous ah, there's an old child's hair clip sort of thing you might find lying around the place a bit of trim there made out of just a piece of paper or just scrap paper and a bit of um, stained up tissue paper sewn on Here's one of those raggedies that are made by um, Nick the Booksmith first, I think. Uh, it's just a full bundle of writing paper in amongst some other scraps of paper that you can just pop in your book, give you a little bit extra writing space and a little bit of interest, bits hanging off the edge and poking out to grab your attention as you're having a look through. There's lots of little fragments of books in here. Um, they're all nonsensical, just things that I found about the place and decided I wanted to add. Um, there's a few book um, tags here, here and there, for no rhyme or reason, just because. There's the other side of that beautiful piece of um, marbled paper. It's just gorgeous. And it was quite old, so I put the whole piece in. And here's a little um, photograph out of a book that's been popped into a um, cut out sort of frame, and just a journal card tucked in there. There's another child's paper clip that's just holding the other side of this envelope closed and inside there's several pictures and journal cards I think no not journal cards a little booklet here also stuffed with bits of ephemera and whatnot she's a pretty full journal and she's a pretty grungy journal Uh, 
right, this is a book cover. No, the dust cover off of a book, just made into a page here. These were um, sections out of a paper cutting book. Um, it was part of my batch dyeing and it got stuck to itself and everything else, so it ended up all torn and raggedy and grungy and lovely, so it became part of Nora. <laughs> it's another piece of that book. Um, just stuck on this envelope as a little tuck. Um, it's a journal card in it and the envelope flips out. And inside there, there is a little booklet that is made out of an old piece of painted canvas. This is the cover of a pattern envelope. Another page tab with some um, negatives stuck to it, just a little number label. It's more of that book page that has jelly printing. This was a piece of eco dyeing paper that's seen better days. A uh, piece of encyclopedia page that has just been painted over green tones. I believe this is probably cross stitch paper. Of scrapbook paper that'll be Kaiser Craft. It's just been covered on the inside with a piece of old um, coffee dyed office paper. This one looks like it's been nibbled on by little mice or something along <laughs> its journeys. piece of stamping off paper that just ended up stuck there. So that's the, as much of a uh, print as we got out of the eco dyeing. I'm not sure what was happening there, but um, I think it was yellow rose petals. I'm not positive though. This little fabric flip. little purple bits of fabric there. Um, there's another page tab with a bit of that gorgeous wool that I love so much just tied on. This is a piece of that um, shipping book that I have. A picture of rigging. Incredibly involved. Just yeah can't make head nor tails of it myself but I'm sure that the people that are using it know what they're doing. This is the other side of that pattern envelope. Uh, it's a bit of um, doily, paper doily stuck on a um, few bits and pieces. There's a little decorated envelope at the top of this page just for no, there is a reason. <laughs> there you go, there's a little decorated paper clip. And it's holding again another one of those big flip out pages. Uh, it's a beautiful piece of sort of, I don't know, textured paper that was uh, obviously no longer needed by the Structured Building Maintenance Advisory Services. So, yeah, it ended up in Nora. just about every other odd bod thing I could find in my house. <laughs> the other side of that book cover is another dust cover for a book. Um, I believe this one was in German. A little journal card tucked in there. It's just been sewn at the bottom to make a pocket. Just some coffee dyed paper with paint on it, piece of old gardening magazine, there's a big corner tuck that's actually a flip up, you can do a bit of journaling on if you wish, and just a couple of journal cards tucked in there. 
more of that jelly printed on old book page. Just a piece of packing paper. It's been screwed up and sewn on the edges. It's another page tab. It's another piece of that shipping book. Um, obviously it had something stuck to it during its batch dyeing. This old used crossword puzzle page. Some gardening book. Quite old gardening book by the looks of it. There's the other side of that crossword puzzle page. Um, this side hasn't been used, it just has staining on it from the batch dyeing of another page that was across from it. So if you fancy doing crossword, here you have your spot. Here is just a flip out envelope. Um, inside there we have an actual piece of ephemera. Is this one. This is a recipe for fruit scones and for fried rice with compliments the five field force group catering wing and Karen up shopping center there you have it piece of actual old ephemera um, with a few recipes you can give it a go I haven't tried them I'm not a big fan of fried rice <laughs> Another hair clip just tucked on that page is a little bit of decoration. Here is a flip out page, just give you some more journal space there. Here's another page to have a piece of jigsaw puzzle and an altered Kodachrome slide with a piece of leaf inside it. On the other side of that page we have one of these little flip books that just gives you extra writing space in your journal. And behind each page, tucked into between each page, there is a journal card or something of the sort. There you go, there's an altered playing card in that one. And a couple of journal cards in those two. I have to get myself reorganised to pop them back in. Yeah. There's just the other side of that dust cover for the book. Uh, again, another little pocket, tuck space for. Um, a journal card and one of my paper doll origami paper dolls. Um, they make good bookmarks. Another dust cover. This time it's just folded in uh, with a decorated paper clip with a bit of a fabric flip and it's just got a journal card tucked in behind it. Another raggedy. Some extra writing space, some music paper. Another page tab and uh, just a little tassel, fabric tassel attached. This is some um, knitting, I think. And just some extra writing space and a poem out of a child's book called April Fool. Some more of that goes across um, scrapbook paper, um, a piece of dictionary. This may be Spanish to English. Um, 
you can see it's been tea dyed and this has been where some tea bags were actually sitting against it I left a really nice imprint on that page another one of these book pages with jelly print some paper stuck on so you've got some more journal space and page tab here's a little um, cutouts from the back of a postcard box um, I'll just cut them out and um, pop glossy accents over the top so they're quite cute little embellishments here's a big pocket made out of book pages uh, this is one of the pockets I make out of my um, glue book pages I have these left over I will glue on a page for a while until it's gluey and then I tear it out and just fold it in half I have a huge stack of these so I use them for all sorts of things this is one of them so it is just a basically a little pocket tower with all sorts of bits of ephemera tucked inside there's a big tag A little envelope that's not stuck down so you can journal inside or stick it together and pop your own little bits and pieces in it uh, a clothing tag that's been altered there's a couple of just um, index cards tucked in there one of those little envelopes small journal tag it's made out of card that's been collaged over another index card and another one of those little envelopes so yeah I don't throw anything out if I can help it <laughs> it's another piece of that paper cutting book you can see the batch dyeing on here as well there's a little bit of transfer of print from something else from ink um, yeah I just love the way the batch dyeing comes out looking super super grungy all right and this is the back of that dust cover it just has this little um, basically pocket floating pocket <laughs> held down by this um, decorated paper clip a bit of sari silk edging trim along there little dangle with a bead and a charm on it and just three journal tags tucked in there this is just a piece of collage card on the back it has a piece of um, the eco dyed paper and just a bit of stamping on it on the other side of that paper clip there's just a big journal card and that's it that's Nora from beginning to end this is the inside of her back cover it is very similar to the inside of her front cover it's the same card that has been collaged and old magazine bits newspaper bits um, leftover bits of paper and then covered it in napkin and sewn around so yeah that is Nora I hope you like Nora I love Nora <laughs> she and I got on very well I enjoyed putting her together it was an extraordinary journey from beginning to end and she just looks so interesting I mean look at that thing you just want to get in there and have a look <laughs> Nora will be available on my Etsy store, um, Penny Rose Journals. I hope you have enjoyed looking through her. I've enjoyed having you along for the process. It's always good to have somebody around when I'm sitting here just chatting to myself. <laughs> so <laughs> it's good to know you're out there somewhere and you'll, you'll see it eventually. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope we see you again next time. Thanks for coming along today. Bye.